ये ब्रदर जॉनसन आपको पूछेंगे ब्रदर जॉनसन विल आस्क यू व्हाट डिड यू लर्न व्हाट विल यू से हाल लो या थैंक यू फॉर दिस फ्रीडम फॉर दिस जॉय दैट द लॉर्ड इज गिवन अस लेट्स क्लोज अर आईज एंड थैंक द लॉर्ड दैट ही हेज ब्रॉट अस हियर विथ अ पर्पज father we thank you we praise you lord for you are a good god thank you that your promises never fails you are a faithful god thank you that you have said it and it shall be done o oh lord there is no power on earth or in heaven or in the powers of darkness that can stop from your word to accomplish in our life and as we believe in your word as we believe in your faithfulness o oh lord we know that what you have said has already come to pass we stand on your word we rely on your word not on our own strength or on our holiness but on your word oh my lord we give you all glory and praise for every healing that is taking place emotional physical mental spiritual every healing that is taking place here you are restoring everything that the enemy intended to harm or to destroy in our life we thank you we praise you we make this prayer in jesus name amen, amen. hallelujah amen. hallelujah amen. i needed 100 rupees can someone borrow me i mean can someone lend to me i want to borrow 100 rupees anyone okay that brother oh, brother we sit sit sit, sit. you said no, just one do i need to write any agreement any paper for that brother why ha huh? achi is trusting me i'm going to give you okay i'm borrowing that money so i'm going to give it to back to you will you trust in my word yeah okay i want to borrow 50000 or let's say 30000 rupees and i promise like you know i take an oath that's what we call in english i take an oath i don't take i don't swear but i take an oath that i will return that money will you give me 10000 or 20000 I'm taken oath, and you know that I'm faithful. I'll never lie. Will you give me ten thousand, twenty thousand? If I take an oath, okay. Will you lend to me fifty lakh rupees? Ah, if you have, will you ask me to sign any document? Yeah, don't tell me. Huh? Yes or no? If in practicality you have to, right? So. God has given us promise God has taken oath and God has signed the contract let's go to genesis 15 what we were reading earlier genesis chapter 15 let's read from verse 1 again genesis chapter 15 verse 1 again and after this things the word of the lord came to abram in a vision saying fear not abram i am your shield and your great exceeding great reward okay then abram said lord god what will you give me seeing i go childless and the steward of my house is this eliezer of damascus see he is saying you know i have been blessed in every area of my life but there is one area i am not yet receive or seen the manifestation of god's glory Then Abraham said behold to me you have given no seed and lo one born in my house is my heir so he is saying i will have children through my servant and that's why or uh, my servant would be inheriting all my properties and my children my own children will not have that and then was four behold the word of the lord came to him saying this shall not be your heirs but he that shall come forth out of your own bowels shall be your heirs so the lord is saying not through this uh, servant woman or not to this servant you will give your property but the one who will come out of your own uh, bowels or your own body he'll be your son and then in verse 5 he brought him forth abroad and said he called he did not called him he did not send him but he brought him forth that means he came together along with abram 
and then he says look now towards the heaven and count the star if you are able to number them he said to them so shall your seed be so we saw that whenever you are looking through a window of god's uh, amazing work in your life you are vision your believing is limited through your mentality through your thinking so first thing that god is telling him he is telling him to come out of your tent come out of your blockages come out of your limitation of your sight limitation of your faith and he's saying come forth come out of your tent and look in the sky hallelujah to pehla pehla parmeshwar ne tachi ji vichar hote tane sangitle ke ya vichara mule tu motha pahu shakat nahi ta tyacha sathi tu bahar e मैं पढ़ा लिखा नहीं आई एम नॉट एजुकेटेड आई फेल्ड दिस आई फेल दैट सो दोज ऑफ यू नो यू नो इट दोज ऑफ यू डोंट नो दैट माय नेम इज थॉमस आई एम इंट्रोड्यूसिंग आफ्टर थ्री फोर आवर्स एंड आई हैव फेल्ड इन टेंथ फोर टाइम्स फोर टाइम्स फर्स्ट टाइम इन मैथ्स आउट ऑफ वन फिफ्टी आई गॉट टू मार्क्स सेकेंड टाइम आई गॉट फोर मार्क्स थर्ड टाइम आई गॉट सिक्स मार्क्स एंड आई फेल्ड मिजरेबली इन माई स्टडीज hallelujah and that very god when he called me he said son and i was praying to the lord and saying god i don't know how to study i have no interest in study i can't study i can't study i can't study while i was saying that the lord told me change your expectation hallelujah i want you to think big i want you to look big i want you to visualize big what i am about to do in your life a person who is feeling in tenth four times god is saying i am going to take you to a very great height i am going to take you to a great places hallelujah and today i am a software engineer without a degree hallelujah hallelujah so i have handled many projects which were it related there were two engineer worked under me and i was their boss who failed four times in 10th when i started my uh, you know career my boss told me in two months time he says do you think you will ever uh, i think in one month time he said do you ever think that you will survive more than three months do you really think that you can do good and you will survive more than three months and i realized you know that when i changed my mind and i started looking at god's glory and god's work in my life there i am the most wanted uh, employee of my company hallelujah. hallelujah because i solve biggest of their most complicated problem in the most simplest way i solve their problem so i am not a problem creator in my office but i am a problem solver hallelujah that's my faith that's my confession that's my vision that i am a problem solver so wherever i go whatever job they give me i solve their problem in the most simple way i solve their problem and that's why i am most sought after employee in my company hallelujah so here god asked him come out of your tent come out of your limitation come out of the things you know i don't think i am educated i don't think i can do this i don't think i can do that and that's how god has asked him come out of your situation once upon a time i was so shy that for 3 years i did not go out of my house if you say good morning to me i was so introvert so shy by the time i say hello to you you are already past the next lane i could not say i could not talk to people i could not face people Three years, I stayed in the house because I did not wanted to go and see anyone or talk to anyone. I was so shy at that time. When I would come to listen to the word of God, but I had a dream, I had a vision, I was visualizing. And one more thing, I was from a very remote village from Maharashtra, in where I was living. I was living in a hut, and it is to you know um, the water is to come, but, uh, like it is to uh, leak. The roof is to like that whatever le uh, leaves. A roof that they had made it is to leak and I, there was no place to sleep 
I come from that background. I come from a very, 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 very remote, uh, remote village, and I could not talk even Marathi properly. I used to talk the local accent language. So when I came here, the Lord, I know, I used to visualize, I used to believe that I am speaking in English in front of the, you know, in English congregation. I could not talk Marathi or Hindi, and I was believing, I was visualizing that I am talking in English. Hallelujah. We had a fellowship meeting in Mira Road and the power of God hit me and I started talking without any family background, without any training, any courses, without not learning anything. Meaning, I did not learn anything and I started talking in English. All of a sudden, by the power of God, I started speaking in English. Hallelujah! 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 Hallelujah. 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 So this all started happening as I came out of my tent. I thought I am not educated. I could not talk. I could not do this. When I was sitting here listening to Brother Johnson's preaching, I never saw him. I saw myself sitting. I am preaching with the mic. I always visualized, dreamt. I always saw myself. I always saw myself. And that's how I became. Like I started preaching the word of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There's one more thing that I want to share, okay? There was a time in my spiritual life that was the most, uh, uh, I would say, I was going, I was struggling in spiritual life. And, uh, you know, I, I thought like I had done some blunders and some mistakes. And there were so many problems going on. And I was thinking of giving up giving up i will not preach i was conducting bible study but i would just drag myself i was not feeling like preaching and there was a very less crowd that was coming and i was feeling so discouraged and i was saying god i want to give up i want to give up i want to give up and i was so discouraged and i could not talk to anyone if i say you know i am feeling discouraged they'll say you are a preacher and you are telling us that you are discouraged and that is when the holy spirit spoke to my mom and she started calling me when I could not talk, when I could not preach, there was a congregation of three people in my, uh, in my Bible study. That is when she renamed me. The, she gave me a new name and she started calling me international preacher. I am fighting with myself. I am fighting. In, I am struggling in my spiritual life. And she would not call me with my name. She would call me international preacher. Food is ready. Come. International preacher, where you are going? International preacher, what are you doing? For almost six months, she never called me by my name. She called me international preacher. But by her visualizing and calling that thing, changed my entire thing. Hallelujah. The down that I was going through, that speaking of faith and seeing of faith, brought me out of that situation. And then the Lord used me for his glory and for his kingdom. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So here the Lord is saying, come out of all these things. There are hundred thousand things that are holding your mind. You are thinking, I can't do this. I can't do that. I can't go there. I can't sit there. He is saying, come out and then see what my glory is. Hallelujah. Let's read further. Verse 6. And he believed in the Lord. And he counted it for him for righteousness. He, so God said, look now towards the heaven, count the star, if you are able to number them, that many shall be your seed, your children be. And then the word of God says, verse 6, he believed in the Lord, he counted it for him for righteousness. So what does it say? It says, when God gave him that word, the promise, uh, the, the prophecy, what he did? He believed in it. Then verse number 7, And then he said to him, I am the Lord that brought you out of Ur of Chaldees to give you this land and to inherit it. And then verse 8, And he said, Lord God, whereby shall I know that I shall inherit it okay verse number six says god gave him that prophecy vision verse number six says he believed it verse number eight says he says what uh, how should i how should i know or whereby shall i know that i will inherit it in the simple language what does it mean 
it's a conversation between god the man of faith and god first he said that i am your great reward and he says you know you have not given me children then god said that i will give you a children from your own body then uh, the lord brought him out and says count okay and then the word of god says in verse number 6 he believed it what does the word of god says he believed it but in 8 what is he asking the lord again how can i what is that word says there can you read that again was it hmm hmm okay what is he asking in in simple word what is the guarantee how do i know okay see there are three ways god gives you assurance of his working in your life there are three ways god gives you an assurance number 1 his promise his promise is good enough to uh, you know get you out of whatever situation if you hold on that promise that promise is good enough to get you out of cancer get you out of whatever problem whatever mess that you are in if you got hold of that promise if you are standing on the promise of god you will see the power of god Uh, manifested in your life hallelujah then again he gives you an oath what is oath in hindi we call it shapath it's not swear not swearing okay it's shapath means oath god takes an oath what does god do what does god do so like i told like i asked that brother can you give me 100 rupees okay will he give me 100 rupees like that without writing a paper writing a document can you do can you do that yes or no yes but what if it is 20 30000 then in that case what will he demand a confirmation right that how how will i pay and i say that you know i take a note or maybe you can write a note also i think in the legal term if i'm not sure okay second thing is that i will take a note and the third thing if i have to borrow as an example 50 lakh rupees and if he has it and i have the capacity to return what i have to do ha huh? ha uh, i have to write an agreement so let's read in genesis 15 again what happens 9 onwards and he said unto him and he said unto him take me an heifer hmm? of 3 years old heifer of 3 years old and a she goat of 3 hmm. years old hmm. and a ram hmm. of 3 years old hmm. and a turtle dove and a young pigeon hmm. and he took unto him all these hmm. and divided them in the midst and laid each piece one against another hmm. but the birds divided he not hmm. and when the fowls came down upon the carcasses abram drove them away hmm. and when the sun was going down hmm? a deep sleep fell upon abram hmm? and look and see and hmm? horror of great darkness fell upon him hmm? and he said unto abram now notice this word in verse number 13 read it and he said unto abram hmm? no of a surety hmm? that thy seed hmm? shall be a stranger now, in now see first if you read carefully this chapter the first conversation starts with god he says abraham i am your exceeding uh, uh, i am your shield and i am your exceeding great reward okay then he says yes lord i believe that but there is a problem in my life then the word of god says the word of god came to him in a second time okay after he said that the word of god came to him again then the lord said he shall not, not be your heir but the one who is coming from your body from your own bowel he says come out and then the word of god says he believed in god he says count the stars and then the word of god says he believed in god now third time he told him okay now he, he asked after that he says how shall i know that i will receive what you are asking me or what you have promised me then he said go and bring these animals cut them which were small he did not cut which were bigger he cut them in half okay and he put them on the two side okay he put them on two side and then when the the birds were coming next to it he drew them away and then what happened is was 12 he slept after that uh he slept 
ओके एंड देन द हॉरर ऑफ ग्रेट डार्कनेस फेल अपॉन हिम एंड वर्स नंबर थर्टीन एंड द लॉर्ड सेट टू अब्राम द लॉर्ड सेट टू अब्राम नो ऑफ फॉर श्योरिटी दैट योर सीड शाल बी स्ट्रेंजर इन दिस लैंड दैट इज नॉट दर्स एंड शाल सर्व देम एंड दे शाल एफ्लिक देम फॉर फोर हंड्रेड ईयर्स एंड ऑल्सो इन वर्स नंबर फोर्टीन एंड ऑल्सो दैट नेशन हुम दे शाल सर्व विल जज विल आई जज एंड आफ्टरवर्ड्स दे शाल कम आउट ऑफ ग्रेट ग्रेट दे शुड कम आउट ऑफ come out with great substance for you shall go to your fathers in peace and you shall be buried in good old age but in the 14th generation and here what happened is uh he is talking about all these promises but this is the place where uh where it says this is a covenant that is between yeah verse number 18 okay Verse number eighteen. So he is giving him a promise what he is about to do. And verse number eighteen, in the same day the Lord made a covenant with Abraham, saying, "To your seed have I given this land." So you can see, first he give him promise, second he gives him oath, and third he gives him covenant. Hallelujah, Hallelujah. If you give me hundred rupees, what is the guarantee? I will return it. What is the guarantee? What if I forget? I forgot and I did not remember. I had to give it back. No guarantee. If I take an oath, okay, there is a little more assurance. Uh, there is little more surety. But what if I write a legal agreement? Am I bound? Am I bound? So can you imagine? to give you a healing to give you a del- deliverance the answer to your prayer not only god gives you promise not only god takes an oath but he writes a legal agreement with you and that's called the covenant of god hallelujah, hallelujah. in order to assure abraham in order to assure abraham he not only gave him promise he not only Take, uh, took an oath, but he also wrote a covenant. Now, why I know I will get what I ask from God? Why I know that I? Why I am so sure? Because one, he has given me promise. Number two, he has taken the oath, and number three, he has written the covenant with me. Hallelujah! Hallelujah. Can you think about two relations which are needed a legal agreement? Two relations. that you need a a a legal agreement or a legal uh, it's based on ha huh? husband and wife business partner is not a relation it's a business relation so your uncle aunt ha huh? no no so i'm talking about like say for example he is my uncle okay so i write an agreement with him from now onwards you will be my uncle and i'll be your nephew does that happen okay someone is my uh, mother sister so i write an write an agreement from now onwards you will be my aunt and i will be your nephew that's what you said right do i write an okay from now onwards you will be my brother and i will be your sister does that happen with brothers and sisters does that happen with uncle aunt with your cousins in which relation do you write an agreement ha huh? are you sure why do you write an agreement you can just say you know that you know we are uh, so only two relation god has appointed only two relation where you need to have an agreement number 1 number 2 it's not easily broken my cousin i stop talking to him my um, uh, uncle and aunt i don't visit them i don't call them there is no legal binding there is no legal agreement i can connect with them at any time i can break with them any time there is no legal binding but when it comes to husband and wife there is a legal binding isn't it yes right and there is one more relation that is legal binding which is that other relation hmm parents so when i gave birth to my son i wrote a agreement with him 
That's by natural, no? By nature. They'll say father ka naam, mother ka naam, and they'll put my uh, uh, son's name directly. Did, did I write any agreement that he's my son? From now onwards, I'll take care of him. Did I? Okay. So which is the other uh, relation that needs a legal agreement? Any relation that you have, kuch bhi nata jo hai apka, whatever relation that you have, which other relation? Huh? Yeah, exactly, adoption. When you adopt a child, I just can't like how we bring the cat and dog at home, we can't bring the children. You have to adopt them legally, isn't it? Now, what happens, suppose I am a very, 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 let's say, you know, a lady who is very, very poor. She is struggling to even eat one-time food and in one day she gets married to a rich man. One day, every situation of her life, all her financial crises are just gone in one minute because she married to a rich man. Isn't it? A boy who is orphaned, struggling to eat, he is eating from the kachra and he is eating and surviving on that. The moment a rich man sees him and he adopts him, completes all the legal requirement and he signs an agreement, from now onwards you will be my son, that very day his life would be changed completely. And God has those two relations with us. We are the bride of Christ and we are the adopted children of God. Hallelujah! So it's not just a relation based on emotion, but it's a relation based on an agreement. It's not a relation based on an emotion or a fellowship. It's a relation based on an agreement. So yeah, healing is not just an emotional based, but it's an agreement that God has done that I will bless you, I will heal you, I will provide for your things. In the Old Testament, he has written the covenant with Abraham, with Moses, with David, with everyone that I take the legal agreement, I write a legal agreement that I will take care of your things. It's not just a promise. Promise is good enough. It's more than enough. But it's not just a promise. It's not just an oath. But more than an oath. It's a legal agreement. Why? Read that verse again. Uh, Where is it? Uh, verse 6. No, no, sorry. Um, verse 8. Verse 8 again. 15.8. And he said, And he said, Lord God, whereby shall I know? Whereby shall I know that I shall inherit it? How many times do we ask this question to God? How do I know God? How do I know God? How do I know that I'll get my healing? How do I know that I'll get my miracle? How do I know that my life will change? How do I know that I'll come out of this situation? And God's answer to you is because I have a covenant with you. Hallelujah. I have a covenant with you. It's not just a promise. Promise of God is powerful. Hallelujah. The oath that he takes for us is super powerful. But the covenant, uh, covenant of God is so very powerful. And God will never, never, ever, ever break the covenant that he has made with us. How do I know my healing is sure? How do I know I have a cancer? And how do I know that I will come out of the cancer? How do I know that I come out of the problems that I am going, uh, going in life? Because God has written the covenant for you. Hallelujah! There is a covenant. Abraham is saying, how do I know that I will have children? And God says, okay, bring the... Uh, bring those animals and cut them in half. And in, uh, if you read further, he fell asleep and God came like a fire. And he passed through that. He passed through those cut, uh, those uh, two animals, you know, the, the pieces of animal. He passed through that and he has wrote a covenant with him. And this day you will ever read that. First time the Abraham covenant that we talk about. The covenant that God had written or God had made with Abraham. Hallelujah. I am sure, I am not just sure, but I am 100% confident that God what he has promised, he will, surely, uh, he will surely manifest in my life. It's already there in the spiritual realm, but from there to this world, he will surely manifest. Why? Because he has a covenant with me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. How do we know anybody is married? Hmm? 
acha by their uh, faces sad faces is this what somebody said because of their sad faces ha huh? how do you know somebody is married what is wedding ring what's a wedding ring ha huh? ha it's a ha huh? it's an outward declaration okay it's an outward declaration what is the ring it's a sign it's a reminder correct no is it a reminder when a man looking at someone that ring he, he has to touch and say oh no 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 i am married okay so it's a sign it's a reminder it's a outward declaration to the world i am married what is the sign if you see every covenant that god had there was the first covenant what was the first covenant in the bible ha huh? noah's ark what was the sign of the covenant ha huh? the rainbow so the bible says every time god sees the blood i'm sorry god sees the rainbow he is reminded of the covenant right okay what is the covenant so god cut a covenant with moses god cut a covenant with abraham god cut a covenant with noah god cut a covenant with i'm saying cut because in the hebrew tradition they don't say made a covenant they say cut a covenant okay so david he had a covenant with uh, uh, noah he had covenant with abraham he had a covenant so with us what is the sign or a symbol of his covenant come on every day in the mass you hear that no come on ha huh? what ha huh? are you hear this word this is a covenant this is a covenant what is that covenant ha huh? come on anybody knows or you are just guessing it breaking of the bread no jesus said when we are celebrating mass or breaking of bread when you are celebrating it what part or what do they say this is my new covenant ha huh? what is that covenant okay when a married man looks at a ring what does it remind him of the day when his life changed good for bad okay so the the ring is a sign of the covenant that you made with your wife similarly blood of jesus is the covenant that god has made with us hallelujah so when he sees blood he is reminded of his covenant so not he is not looking at your cry and your prayer but he is looking at the blood and he is reminded of the covenant that he has with you i am so sure I am so very confident that what God has pro promised in his word he is able to do in my life he will never never ever ever failed because he has written covenant with me hallelujah hallelujah okay if you give me 100 rupees will you have sleepless night without any agreement will you have assurance you don't care what if you know 100 rupees i don't return it's not much but if you give me 50 lakh rupees and i have not written a covenant with you i have not made an agreement with you and 50 lakh rupees i told you that i am going to uk on on 10th of december i am coming back and it is 10th of january in one month i have not called you i have not turned up what will happen will you have sleepless night 50 lakh rupees i have taken no agreement i said i will come on 10 what will happen to you okay if i have given a mortgage my house as a mortgage and the house uh, you know price of my house let's say 70 lakh and i have borrowed 50 lakh and i have written an agreement and i don't showed up i don't show up on 10 january uh, 20th january will you be scared why what if what if you know i don't show up i don't take your call you have the agreement and that's what gives you the confidence even if i am gone you have the agreement and you're sure that i will get my money that's what god has done hallelujah the covenant of god is the most highest form of god's assurance of his faithfulness in our life hallelujah hallelujah and that's what we need to can we just read that again can you read that sister 
Uh, no. Verse 15. And you shall go to, the fa to your fathers in peace. Okay, you read from 17. And it came to pass mm -hmm. that when the sun went down and it was dark, mm -hmm. behold, a smoking furnace and a burning lamp that passed between those pieces. Mm -hmm. In the same day, the Lord made a covenant with Abram, ah. saying... So how did he make a covenant with him? When that fire of God went through those cut pieces and when he went through them, what he did... Then the word of God says, He made a covenant with them. Hallelujah. He made a covenant with them. Let's read one more scripture in Galatians chapter 3 verse 13. Galatians chapter 3 verse 13. Galatians chapter 3 verse 13. Read it. Christ has redeemed us from Christ the Christ has redeemed us from the curse of the law from the curse of the law being made a curse for us being made a curse for us for it is written for it is written cursed is everyone cursed is everyone that hangs on a tree that hangs on a tree marathi tase lile yeshu majya sathi shrap jhala ani tyane mala shrap hun kay kela sarv shrapatun mukte kela apan agreement karto na legal agreement ती कोणत्या नात्यामध्ये करतो आपण तू माझी मावशी आहे तू माझा काका आहे तू माझा चाचा आहे आपण अग्रीमेंट करतो का मग कुणामध्ये करतो बायको करताना आहे ना आणि मुलाला जेव्हा आपण दत्तक घेतो तेव्हा बरोबर ना दत्तक घेतो माहितीये अडॉप्शन करतो तो इन दोज केसेस नाव वर्स थर्टीन सेस क्राइस्ट बिकेम कर्स फॉर अस बाय बिकमिंग कर्स ही हॅज रिडीम्ड अस फ्रॉम द कर्स ऑफ द लॉ वर्स फोर्टीन so that that the blessing of abraham let's put one more word okay let's put abrahamic covenant blessing uh, or let's say covenant abrahamic blessing of uh, sorry covenant blessing of abraham shall come to all people read that again just to make it understanding i am not uh, changing the words just read it again was that 14. the covenant blessing of abraham that the covenant blessing of abraham might come on the gentiles might come on gentile hallelujah hallelujah jesus has uh, redeemed us from the curse of the law usne hame shrap se chudaya so that the abrahamic covenant blessing should come to us hallelujah hallelujah fir uska aage ka padho 15 This Present. is very, very powerful. Learn this and, you know, uh, kind of store it in your memory. Mem memorize it. Uh, remember this. Read this verse number 15. Brethren, I speak after the manner of men. 15 you are reading? Yeah. Galatians 3.15. Okay. Yeah. Brethren, I speak after the manner of men. Mm -hmm. Though it be but a man's covenant. Though be it? Though it be but a man's covenant. Okay, he is saying though it is a covenant made by man. Okay. Yet if it be confirmed. But if it be confirmed. No man can dis disannul or uh, add no to it. No man can disannul it or, or add to it. You know what is he saying in simple language? Ek bar covenant ho gaya. तो दुनिया की कोई ताकत उसको तोड़ नहीं सकती वट इज सींग इफ द कवनेंट इज मेड लाइक सपोज वी मेड वी मेड एन अग्रीमेंट ओके एंड द अग्रीमेंट इज दैट आई विल पे यू फिफ्टी थाउजेंड रुपीज और फिफ्टी लैख रुपीज फॉर नो रीजन आई विल पे फिफ्टी लैख रुपीज एंड आई से नो आई डोंट केयर आई एम नॉट गोन गिव यू आई से डेट ओके saying doesn't have power but when i make a covenant what will happen to that person what will he do he'll sue me he'll take me to the court i say please 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 i beg you i was just joking i just wrote i just signed it sorry sorry sir i didn't mean to do it sorry sorry i can't do that sorry 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 will he agree can he take me to the court i go and tell in the court i said i'm so sorry i was not in my mind i did it like i was just jokingly you know i just wrote it i just signed it i didn't know that he was going to come to court will court listen to me will they uh, hold me responsible yes or no yes or no and how does an agreement gets confirmed 
how does a house agreement gets confirmed signature so uh, suppose this brother has a house and this brother and me we both sign then his house is sold huh okay so he signs a document and the house is sold ha ah, both dono ka chahiye so god has already written an agreement he has already signed it the moment i sign it with my faith my belief that covenant gets confirmed and nothing on earth or in heaven or in the powers of darkness can ever cancel that covenant read that again read that again ha huh. if anyone has good news rsv read that and just let's understand different ways ha huh. brothers and sisters i am giving you an example from daily life once a person's will has been gratified that means fulfilled right correct no ha huh? no one can add to it or no one can cancel it hallelujah my covenant with god no one can cancel it no powers of hell no powers of satan no demonic forces can cancel the covenant that jesus has made for made with me hallelujah and that covenant the sign of the covenant is the blood of jesus that i celebrate during the mass that's what we say no this is the new birth this is my blood which is the blood of the new covenant i have a new covenant with god and that covenant is the agreement that he has made i agree to him i believe and i say god i believe in the agreement of what you have written and the moment i do that no power of hell no power of demons no power of satan nobody on earth or nobody anywhere can cancel that covenant once i have agreed on the covenant of god wow are you not happy he says how do i know god abraham is saying how do i know he said okay i'll do something come he did not give him a teaching he did not give him an explanation he says go and bring those animals cut them in half put them in pieces and then he passed through that and abraham was sleeping and as god passed through that what was his that he had cut god went through that and that was a covenant that was an agreement that abraham and god had and that same covenant god has with me hallelujah read in one more translation if you have any other translation good news you read good news right what what was your translation in good news it is my friend yeah read my friends hmm? i'm going to use an everyday example mm hmm when two people agree on a matter mm. and sign an agreement mm. no one can break it or add anything to to it no one can break it or add to it what is the agreement that god has done with you what is the agreement god has done with you about your house renting your house what is the agreement huh what are the clauses in the agreement of god what are the clauses believe in jesus believe in jesus and believe that's a clause okay what was the abrahamic covenant what was the abraham abrahamic covenant hmm sorry he is a shield okay the covenant is i will provide for all your needs number 1 i will heal you with the abraham number 3 i will bless you and make you prosperous number 4 you will always succeed in life you will never be put to shame you will never go to disappointment or frustration or failure or rather you will never be going to failure because god will give you victory in your life anything that you need is a part of the covenant that god has given you you need healing 
it's there in the covenant you need uh, you know you need a redemption from your curse if you want a deliverance from your curse is there in the covenant you need a provision it's there in the covenant you need healing it's there in the covenant you need restoration it's there in the covenant you need change in your life it's there in the covenant you have brokenness brokenness in your life restoration of your life of your finance of your business it's there in the covenant whatever you ever need or you need or you will ever need it's there in the covenant because god has written that covenant for you wow. hallelujah. Hallelujah. hallelujah and that's why i'm excited that's why i'm confident that's why i know i know i know and i know and i know that what god has said it's already a done deal i don't need to worry i don't need to sleep sleepless night i don't need to wake up and say what will happen what will happen i had a question what will i know or how will i know that this will happen and that's when god revealed this covenant and he has revealed it to i am sure you have not heard before this you used to always say new covenant old covenant moses covenant you never knew what was the meaning of covenant you never thought about it and the lord is teaching you today the covenant is the legal agreement that god has made with you Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah Hallelujah still now there is no scope there is no chance there is no place for any question I have this big sickness will it ever happen will it will God do it I, my my sickness you know God doctor told me that this many month to live or that many days to live the covenant of God cancels all other covenant any agreement of you know with the sickness with the failure with the uh, curses any sickness any uh, agreement with the curses with the failure with any problem any sickness of your life this covenant of god is the highest form of covenant in our life mosaic covenant david's covenant uh, abrahamic covenant this covenant that jesus has made with us is the higher higher authority covenant with all other covenant there is power in the sickness but the power of god is much more you know it has the authority upper authority or more power than any power of the devil or his kingdom his uh, satanic kingdom because god has given me the authority you know why when i got this scripture i was so very down and i was praying for i was believing for one sister's healing and i was saying god she's at the last stage how do i know that she will survive how, i was actually i was asking how do i know and this is when i was reading genesis chapter 15 and as i was reading that chapter i got stuck there because abraham the father of faith asked the same question i said he and me we are in the same boat he asked the same question how do i know that this will happen i asked the same thing how do i know when this will happen and the lord says i have made you made a covenant with you read that galatians 3 15 again let's uh, you know read that again brothers and sisters mm -hmm. i speak in terms of human relations even though a last will and testament is just a human covenant yet when it has been signed and made legally binding no one sets it aside or adds to it no one can cancel the covenant that god has made with you hallelujah and no one can do an ad, uh, amendment or addendum to that because that's a first and the final covenant that god has made with you and that's the complete story of all the things that you need let's look at couple of scriptures isaiah chapter 54 was 9 and 10 isaiah chapter 54 was 9 and 10 read it Isaiah chapter 54 verse 9 and 10 hmm? The Lord says hmm? this day is like the time of Noah to me I promise okay. okay understood this understand okay what says this day is like the day of Noah to me who is saying that God is saying then Hmm? This day is like the time of Noah to me. This day I is like the time of Noah to me. Then I promised then huh? that What I would. What translation you are re reading? This is uh, 
uh, reading kgv or nkgv if you have yeah ha read this is like the day of nohas to me just as i swore ha huh? just as the days of noha god said i made a covenant with noha and this word is here i swore to noha okay i swore means that i i took an oath with noha that the waters will never come cover the earth then ah so i have so the way i have sown uh, taken an oath with noha same way i have taken an oath for you or with you and i will not be angry with you and i will not rebuke you like an enemy and then the next verse you might be knowing the mountains may depart and the hills may be removed but my steadfast love shall never depart from you and the covenant of peace can we read that again was 10 10 10 for the mountains may depart and the hills may be removed ha huh? but my steadfast love shall not depart from you and my covenant of peace shall not be removed says the lord who has compassion on you hallelujah he says for me it's like the days of noha you know when i read that i got stuck in it says what is the days of noha so the bible says every time there is a heavy rain there is a heavy rain even today when there is a heavy rain for 2 3 4 days then the rainbow appears in the sky and the moment the bible says he looks at the rainbow and he has a compassion on people and the rain stops immediately because god is reminded of his covenant that he has made with noah hallelujah hallelujah the same way he says when he sees the blood he remembers the covenant and that blood reminds him of the covenant that he has made with us and that's when the blessing the deliverance the the breakthrough in our life starts flowing so the rainbow reminds god of the covenant that he had with noah the blood of jesus reminds god of the covenant that he has with me he looks at the blood he has compassion on me he looks at the blood he answers me he looks at the blood and he anoints me delivers me blesses me takes me on high uh, you know uh, gives breakthrough in my life so the he says that i have taken swore i have sworn i have taken an oath i will never be angry with you and i will never rebuke you in anger and then he says the mountains may depart and the hills may be removed but my steadfast love steadfast love is not uh, you know it's fluctuating up down no my steadfast love which is same every day today you prayed my love goes up today you did not pray my love goes down today you fasted my love goes up you today you uh, acted patiently my love goes even up you today you fought with your wife my love no the love of god is steadfast all throughout your life hallelujah and then he says and the covenant of peace shall never be removed from your life hallelujah Amen. are you not excited Amen. are you not happy Amen. see i am giving you a super super assurance of the things that you have come here i am giving you a guarantee that god has already written for you kya malum milega ki nahi wo 100% milega kyunki uska guarantee likh ke rakha hai usne बाइबल में लिख के रखा है इज़ ऑलरेडी रिटर्न एंड ही इज गिविंग यू दैट हंड्रेड परसेंट नो थाउजेंड परसेंट गारंटी वॉट ही हेज गिवन यू इन द इन द कवनेंट ऑफ गॉड हाल ए लुया लेट्स लुक एट अनदर स्क्रिप्चर गलेशियन चैप्टर फोर वर्स ट्वेंटी थ्री एंड ट्वेंटी फोर गलेशियन चैप्टर फोर वर्स ट्वेंटी थ्री एंड ट्वेंटी फोर but he who was of mm -hmm. the born woman was mm -hmm. born after the flesh mm -hmm. but he of the free woman mm -hmm. was by promise okay again okay. 
which things are an allegory for these are the two covenants mm. the one from the mount sinai mm. which grants to bondage which is agar mm. for this agar is mount sinai mm. in Ar- arabia mm. and answers to jerusalem mm. which now is and mm. is in bondage with her children so he is talking about two children of uh, abraham one was from the bond woman and the other one was from the free, free woman one was mm, the son came into world by his strength by his human uh, efforts by his flesh okay the other one came by the promise of god okay so he is saying that there are two promises one is based uh, there are two uh, people or children of abraham one came through his own will the other came by the will of god one came through his own effort the other came by the promise of god one came through his fleshy effort the other one came through the faith by you know faith in the in the word of god so he is saying in which of which uh, covenant do you want to operate it is it based on your your efforts or is it based on the faith on, on the cross face uh, your faith on the crucifixion on the sacrifice of jesus hallelujah hallelujah so these are the two covenants one is through your flesh that you try to do and one is through your faith your faith says that jesus christ died on the cross and he has set me free but jesus christ died on the cross and he has redeemed me he has set me free by the, his wound i am healed i believe that and the other uh, covenant is based on your work 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 that covenant is not going to work because god has have a uh, god has a new covenant with us and that new covenant is based on the blood of jesus hallelujah let's look at one more scripture hebrew chapter 7 verse 22 hebrew chapter 7 verse 22 by so much was jesus made a surety mm-hmm. of a better testament ah. and they truly were many priests because they were not suffered to continue by reason of death okay jesus has made surety of the better uh, say say that again by so much was jesus made a surety mm-hmm. of a better testament and okay. they uh let's read uh was 21 for those priests were made without an oath hmm. but this with an oath by him that said unto him okay so the other priest you know Aaron and and the generation of Aaron were appointed but this priest is made with oath hallelujah what is the difference between made uh, you know it's just made and made with oath the one who is made with an oath is everlasting so jesus uh, priesthood so he is comparing two priesthood one was of aaron and one was of melchizedek who was the priest okay so he's talking about two priesthood and he wanted to make a point that the priesthood of melchizedek was greater than the priesthood of aaron so jesus was even greater so he was going to say melchizedek uh, uh, you know melchizedek and jesus these are the two priest on that line and this line aaron and his children and their children and their children so there is a genealogy there is a, 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 a generation of aaron which is the which is having the priesthood and there is melchizedek and there is jesus so this is the priesthood so he is talking about and then he says well, this priesthood was made with an uh, oath and therefore it is everlasting and then the lord will uh, the lord swear read the lord swore and will not repent ha huh? you thou art a priest forever after the order of melchizedek and the lord uh, i think that translation says swore my says swear the lord swear and will not repent hallelujah 
Hallelujah. Can we take it to our situation? The Lord swore to me and he will not repent. Repent means changing his mind. Okay. So he'll say, um, I will bless you or you know, I have anointed you or I will take you to great heights. And tomorrow he'll say, oh, I, 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 you know, I simply said it. I didn't mean to say that. So he says, the Lord has swore it and he will not repent. Say everybody, the Lord has swore it and he will not repent. The Lord has swore it and he will not change his mind. The Lord has said it and he will not change his mind. And he will not change his mind. The Lord has said The Lord has said a promise a promise about my healing about my healing and he will not change his mind. And he will not change his mind. The Lord has uh, spoken the Lord has spoken about my prosperity. About my prosperity. And he will not repent. And he will not he repent. will not change his mind. He will Hallelujah. Not his mind. Hallelujah. Then twenty two. By so much was Jesus made a surety mm -hmm. of a better testament. Okay, let's read in different translation. By so much, by so much. By so much Matlab? What is the by so much? Why is by so much? We read 21, right? He says, the Lord swore it. Uh, I will not repent. You are the priest forever after the old order of Melchizedek, right? The Lord swore it and he will not change. By so much, meaning in the same way, God, Jesus was made surety of the better covenant with us. Hallelujah. 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 Uh, can we read some other translation? Simple one, good news, RSV. Huh? Huh? Ah, Jesus is a guarantee of the better covenant. Wow! Jesus is a guarantee of your healing. Jesus is a guarantee of your breakthrough. Jesus is a guarantee of you coming out of your problem. Jesus is a guarantee of what God has written a covenant in with you and in your life hallelujah Amen. then any other translation one says covenant one says guarantee any other translation <laughs> hebrews we are reading 7 verse 22 <laughs> hmm? <laughs> ah be because of this oath jesus has become a guarantor of god's oath god's agreement so i will like i said if i have borrowed 50 lakh from uh, from you and i said i'll give i'll give i'll give on pakka on 10th december i will give all 50 lakh rupees because i'm selling my land somewhere and i will come and give you but if i don't have an agreement and if i don't show up on 10th and i don't show up on 10 january also what will happen to your 50 lakh rupees ka uh, loan that i've taken you will have sleepless night. You will not have peace. You will not have guarantee. But you have a document that I have written. I have said, Mera, this is my house and I am giving as a mortgage. This is my gold. I am giving as a mortgage. I have written the agreement. If I don't pay by this, you can charge me this amount. I make sure that if I don't pay by March this time, you can go and um, you know auction my, my house and you can sell it. You know, you can, uh, what do you call that? Auction it. Uh, you can auction my house and you can sell and you can collect. Will you have a sleepless night if I have taken 50 lakh rupees? No. You have a guarantee. Say I have a guarantee. Jesus is my guarantee. I have a guarantee for my healing. I have a guarantee for my provision. I have a guarantee for my breakthrough. I have a guarantee of all the promises of God because Jesus is my guarantee Jesus is my guarantee Jesus is my guarantee Jesus is my guarantee hallelujah hallelujah I have full assurance full confidence that Jesus what he said what oath he has taken he has fulfilled in my life not even one person doubt in my mind. Can we all stand? Can we break, brother? Is it okay? Yeah. Can we all stand? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. 
what we learn today that poor boy struggling in his life he want to survive for a day to day life ek aisa bachcha jisko khane ko bhi nahi mil raha tha but one rich man a very very wealthy person decided to adopt him today he says i am going to adopt you legally everything that i have belongs to you you will have share in my property he comes and adopts him he writes a, a document and that very day his life changed completely the day a prince or a king likes a girl and that girl is so poor struggling even to eat daily food but the moment the king the prince likes her he says i'm going to marry you and the day he decides to marry her everything that belongs to the king everything that belongs to the prince belongs to that poor girl she will no longer be called as a poor girl anymore she will be called the princess from now onwards so today the covenant that jesus has for us you will no longer be called a sick person you will no longer be called financially broken person you will no longer be called a person who has failed because jesus has adopted you and he has given you all the inheritance that he has and now onwards you will not be called a broken you will not be called a sick person but you will be called as whole you will be called as a blessed of god you will be called as chosen of god you will be called the child of god the blessed favored child of god and today at this moment your destiny change your situation change let's now thank the lord and believe in this word this revelation that we have heard the holy spirit that has he has spoken to us let's all praise him and thank him i am parmeshwar ko stuti kare aur dhanyawad kare hallelujah 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 i believe in your i believe that you have wrote a covenant with us thank you jesus Thank you Jesus. Thank you Lord for the assurance of my healing. Thank you for the assurance of my liberty. Thank you for the assurance that you gave me through the covenant. Thank you for the assurance that you gave me through your blood for your sacrifice on the cross. It not just the blood that is shed, but it's the the covenant that you made with me. The covenant, the guarantee, the agreement that you did with me. Hallelujah 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 thank you lord thank you jesus sura ba shakala ba 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 o rama ba 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 le rama shukuru busandara bala 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 come on rejoice right now rejoice you have been given the guarantee you have been given the guarantee by the lord you have been given the guarantee the covenant the agreement the assurance the surety the guarantee of jesus' blood you have been given the guarantee the assurance the surety of his word of his promises of his goodness of his love hallelujah 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 abram said how would i know it how should i how would i know that you would do this and the lord said i have written a covenant with you the same way those who came here with your sickness with your problem and you had question in your mind god how do i know i will get it how do i know that i will come out of this problem how do i know that i will overcome the areas that i am going through the lord is giving you this word because my son's jesus blood is a guarantee for your problem jesus's blood is a guarantee is an assurance for your victory for your healing hallelujah thank you jesus let's make a prayer and then we can close father god we thank you for you have loved us so much and again and again and again through your word you have assured us you are saying fear not for i am with you again and again you are saying that i have done everything that you required everything that you need in life 
for your for your healing for your breakthrough for every area of your life and today we have learned through your word that you have written a covenant an agreement and this no one can cancel or no one can add because this covenant is forever settled in heaven and therefore i believe lord that no power of satan can ever touch me because i have made a covenant with you i agree on the sacrifice of jesus i do my part because you have already done your part and this is the agreement that i have with you the covenant of new covenant of your blood and of your sacrifice we give you all praise and honor lord for you are an awesome god we give you all glory honor and praise we make this prayer in jesus name amen, amen. hallelujah, hallelujah. can we give a